In my usual preamble, I'd, I'd like to talk about the three aspects that we hold in permanent balance while we are recreating something. I mean, sure. actually, we're recreating. And the first one is sort of what's it about, the sure. spiritual essence. The second one would be the emotional context, the, the, the epoch, the kind of character, motivation, all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, there's the third one is the physical. What do we do to actually mm. make that happen? Now, a very wonderful colleague of mine, Michael Hampa, broke that down in a wonderful essay, and he calls it the five W's. Hmm. And which is kind of interesting. And so if we, if we take, let's see if I can get them right. Right? Let's say, who are we? Sure. Right? Where are we? Mm -hmm. When are we? Sure. Why are we? Okay. That's four. Mm -hmm. So I said, what am I looking for now? I'm not a bad, the, the, sort of the kicker, <laughs> the, the joker in the equation is, who are we talking to at the time? But you get it, there's an interesting tabella. Are you clear about that when you sing this aria? Or any other aria? Um, well, I like to think that I'm talking to the people that I just showed my first little bout of madness to, so the actors right. for the play within a play. Ah, good. So you know the plot. Yes. You got that. So have you looked at the rest of the role? I've looked at bits and pieces of the role, but... So you know what's coming after this. Yeah. So eventually a I'm half gonna... an hour of vocal pain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The so-called mad, one of the, one, one of the many mad scenes. Mm -hmm. I think that the madness is a, is a word we should be careful about. I think that mm -hmm. in contemporary terms, it's probably more easy to think of Hamlet as a, a bipolar is perhaps too, too strong. Maybe a manic depressant, maybe, a, you know, it, it, I mean, his indecision comes from his, his continual need to analyze, mm -hmm. right? How much of that can we take into this aria? Um, I mean, 
You agree with me, right? Yeah, I absolutely do. I'm just wondering how let's, to make it. Let's say, okay, let's say, let's say we, we've got an idea of who we are. Mm -hmm. The where could be, could be a, 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 a um, stage direction issue, but I let, let's just, it doesn't really matter whether we're, on, whether we're in the, well, it does matter. Where, yeah. where is important because of who's actually there. Yeah. And that's the players. And mm -hmm. they're assembling, and you've actually hired them to do a play in which a king is killed. Mm -hmm. And your hope is your, f your stepfather, mm -hmm. whom you're quite convinced killed your father, mm -hmm. and you suspect your mother was behind it, not a good family, mm -mm. right? <laughs> not a lot of trust in that. But you're setting something up, and you're completely right that before this, He's, he's been completely tormented. He's not quite sure. He, if anything about Hamlet, he makes decisions and then he doubts them the rest of the time, mm -hmm. right? But this is kind of a self-intoxicating moment. Yep. And it's a gearing up the group, right? Mm -hmm. But is there a part in the aria or even in the, in the melody where we actually get to meet Hamlet again? In la vie ensemble. At in least, section, yeah. at least, right. I think that, I, th I think actually it's already in the second part of the first verse. Okay. Right? Okay. This is already getting a little bit darker in, in its thing. And I think what, what I would like, because right now it, it sounds somewhat the same. All right. And I think we can do that in your head first. I think there's a couple of vocal things we could talk about. Sure. But let, let's, let's try that first. Can we just start sure. the area again? And not only is singing based on the binding of vowel to vowel, in fact, every vowel we sing has every other vowel in that. That's the essential difference between singing, singing and speaking. We separate vowels and we speak, and how we separate them with what speed determines the language, right? And that's quite wonderful about singing French, mm -hmm. right? But every vowel, so, oh, yeah, that sounds to me like CNN. <laughs> you know, that sounds like information. Oh, va, get rid of my sorrows, right? Mm -hmm. let's, try and, let's try and internalize that. Sure. Right? Okay. A couple of measures. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. And by the way, all of this, all this sort of hyperkinetic information in the music is totally pseudo. It's totally invented out of his mind. It's, it's, a, it's a bizarre moment in the opera and, and rather difficult. It's one of the most famous pieces from the opera, but it actually belongs in a completely other context. Mm -hmm. You know, It comes as a relief of things that are getting very dark. And then he says, no, no, we, we've got to do this, we've got to do this, and he's bracing <laughs> himself, right? Yep. Give me a glass, give me a glass of wine, come on. Come on, we're gonna do this, we've got to do this play. <laughs> Don't screw this up, guys, right? Mm -hmm. and, as he keeps, and as he keeps telling these people to be there, be there, be there he keeps backing like I'm backing off. And he, every, all, every time he gets terribly animated about something, he sinks in his own doubt. This we need to hear even in this rather famous bravura aria. All right. Okay. <laughs> Don't lose voice, don't yeah. lose connection, don't get sweet on it, just go inside. Sure. This liqueur, this old vin, this evil. liqueur. Keep it all on the boat, keep it all inside of you. Sure. You get a wonderful voice for, for, for this aria, it's beautiful, great singing. Just let me hear your mind work. Sure. Now I go to the theater, I, wanna, I don't care what theater it is, but especially in opera, and it's an aspect we're losing every day in the opera. As much as a musical language, I want to hear people think. Right? I think that's why the music's been written the way it's been written. Hamlet is a far better opera than it's given credit for in any anthology. <laughs> it has a horrible ending, but it's a, you know, <laughs> other than that, it's fantastic. So, one more time, that was very good, but shift that gear in the liqueur en right? Sure, just start from there. Jum, 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 jum. Don't lose momentum. Your momentum was great to begin with. I'm not trying to paddle, paddle it down. Verse, 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 
Good. When you work like that, do do you where? Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about physicality. Sure. Where where's where is your center of gravity when you sing? What do you feel in your body? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to feel almost like I'm always moving forward, especially in this. Ah, like awesome. I don't want to feel like I'm falling backwards Why? and sort of bending my back. Too Why? Much. I just don't like the feeling of it while singing. And I tend to tighten up in the lower back. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I hope we can do this in 15 minutes. I actually, I actually, I actually rather enjoy this feeling. Sure. Right? I tell you what it is. I think I think we're after the same thing. Mm -hmm. And what you want to feel is is this expanse and freedom in your back. I get that completely. Yeah. But what I'm hearing is, body, body, da 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 da. I feel like you're taking breath in, vibrating something, and the voice is going that direction. Okay. What if, which kind of sounds obvious? Yeah. But what if we got rid of that? What if we said your voice is here, and what they hear happens to be because you're standing in front of them? All right. In other words, yeah. can we get rid of the idea of projection? Yeah. Right? Can instead of holy holy that it stays in the same same resonance? Sure. When when we when we really get into singing, like like you are already very advanced. But don't ever forget that the, the house of resonance, the place where the resonance, which we find as young singers by exploring different vowels. But in fact, the where we resonate the voice, where we receive the sound of our voice, is completely independent of what vowel is vibrating inside of it. Hmm. All right. Get that? Yeah, I like is that. that. You, got, you like that? Yeah, I love Yours. that. Yours. Yes. Can we start the holy right? You, for my money, you move around a little too bit, too much, sure. and the reason why I'm, I I bring that up is because I think you're looking for what it is I want to help you find. Okay. I, I think we when when you find yourself, do you find yourself doing something sometimes with your body? And you're kind of, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> that is a that's that's that is a really good information. Because if that happens, it means your body is looking for a source of energy to fulfill your imagination of sound. And that's one of the great Zen damning things of singing. You know, your concept of sound is stronger than your understanding of what your body needs to do to produce it. And your brain will turn you into a pretzel to produce that which is your imagination. So we need to know some physical athletic things that we just know how to do. You stand very well. But I would not be afraid to have this feeling. Sure. In fact, I, th I, th you know, this whole notion of support is actually said very simple. And that is that while we, by nature, exhale in singing, we retain the inhaling feeling in the muscles. And that's why I like this feeling of standing up. I want my spine to straight, exactamente. Okay. Exactly like this, and I want you to feel, you can do this with your arms, I want yeah. you to feel, and I want you to, I while you're singing, feel up though, feel the inhale, inhaling of the sound. <laughs> Will make you very tired. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> One more time, good, we know where we are. Hear it, make only that that you imagine hearable. Wonderful. I, I can't help but I don't like to teach to, to class public. I want to work here, but but did you notice two things? The voice is calmer, the vibrato is more even. He didn't move his face around, the jaw became a property of an expression rather than something he had to do, and the voice just rolled out, right? Hear it, breathe into that. I haven't thought once about the breath that I needed to say the sentences that I've said. This is the automatic we have to get in singing. The breath you take on stage is the breath you need to make that thought in that language audible, right? Mm -hmm. Air is not gasoline. It's not tanking up for something that we have to propel. This is, to me, the, one of the worst ideas that, that, that singers don't have eradicated from their vocabulary from the very get-go. 
Voices do not project. Voices resonate. Broomsticks thrown in anger are projectiles. <laughs> right? Voices are not projectiles. They are spinning entities in and of themselves that their resonation, born of an intent of expression, is heard by other people. Right? Mm -hmm. You are the doorway. They come to you. Don't ever go on a stage convincing somebody in front of you. That will make you nervous and tired. And mm -hmm. you'll sing very badly. Right? But you know it. I love being able to talk to you like this because you're clearly on over that side of your study. So, one more time, mm -hmm. that exact thing, exactly why you want to say au liqueur, breathe into that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let, in the French language, the French language is difficult because it, it wants the bel canto of the forming of vowels in the throat and the pharynx and all that kind of stuff, but in fact it likes to have that buzz on the teeth and the lips, you know. And I remember working on this aria with, with Marcel Sanger, the great French baritone, you know. And he, and he somewhere in, you know, in, in one of our classes, you know, he said, in the French language, if you don't feel it always buzzing the back of the top teeth, you're probably letting it be too Italian. So especially closed vowels like, oh, the cur I have no problem with. You'd also, by the way, the enchanteresse is not necessary. Enchanteresse, resse, it's a schwa just like the German, it's like our a uh, vowel in English, right? Enchanteresse, you know, if, if you're whole, you just don't need to do that, right? We'll leave that. But if we had, Oli, instead of, Oli, coeur, enchanteresse, that's a, it's to me a little bit too Puccini. <laughs> right? So let the French language always just vibrate in your mouth as well as the rest of your head. I don't want to shorten your voice. You've got a wonderful extension. It's wonderful. One more time. <laughs> hear it. You can do it. Hear it exactly the way you want us to hear it, like we've now discussed it, and breathe into that. <laughs> Okay, one, one, yeah, one last thing. Do me a favor, you know, you poor victim, you know. Oh, yes, I had a class with Tom Hampson. Uh, I learned how to stay still. Yes and no, right? But get into the floor, son. Energy of, of singing is, you know, we don't have to, it's, we're not going to kill anybody. We're going to yeah. just be there. What you're not going to be is, is this. Yeah. You know, you're looking for something that is in, quite frankly, your hips. Anchor your hips to the floor so that your, your ribs can be out of your hips and be flexible for the breaths you need that facilitate your thoughts in music, right? And mm -hmm. stay there. All right. Exactly. Holy, holy girl, enchanteresse. <laughs> right? Stay there. Right. Down, up. Holy girl, that crack or that little tweaky thing is not, is not stylistic, it's not interesting. And it's only because you're not letting every vowel live in the same place where every vowel is. But you were going, Holy Kerala, Holy Kerala, Chantares. It's all the same resonance house. Good. Holy Kerala, Chantares, Versali, And they, they go, yada da da, yada da, they clap and hurry, hurry. And all of a sudden, this, this manic depressing cloud just goes, Dush! right? Yeah. And, he's, and now he's talking to himself. Okay, let's go on. Sure. And it's mezzo piano. Change of instrumentation. Two, two things. Do you know what the instruments are they're playing here? Sorry. Shum, shum, shum. Do you know the instruments? Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Which are they? What are they? Uh, should be a string. Do you, is it all strings? Aren't the winds in there? You mean the wind? Uh, no, no. Boom, boom, Is strings, but also winds. Mm -hmm. Which means that the sound of that pulse, that staccato, is not the staccato of the piano. Okay. 
right? Mm -hmm. You want to keep it this way, right? Now, what we don't want is la vie est sombre les arts. That's CNN, you know? What we want is la Right? It needs to be inside of you. Okay. I, th I think, I'm sorry. Uh, do you play, do you, have you ever played Fischer Mädchen of Schubert? Fischer Mädchen of Schubert? Sorry, I can't. Du schönes Fischer Mädchen, treibe den. Do you know that song? Mm -hmm. Right, that's the accompaniment. Okay. Shum, shum, shum. Not too heavy on the downbeats. <coughs> Horizontal. Shum, 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 shum. Breathe. Legatissimo. That alas, if you sing the alas like this, it becomes demonstrative. Okay. Don't let it come out of the gelatin. Keep it in the same. Chacun, hélas, right? Don't speak it like I just did, but it's, yeah. it's parenthetical, and it stays in the same container. Chacun, hélas, a sans son goût, right? Chacun, hélas, participa sa lourde chaîne. Cruel de voir désespoir de l'âme humaine. It's all right here. Yep. Da -da. Loin de nous, noir message, loin de nous, noir message, les plus sages sont les faux. Okay. Oh. That bit needs to be sung. Loin de nous, noir présage. Loin de nous, noir présage. Loin de nous, noir présage. Loin de nous. It just makes you tired. Keep it on the same string, the same bow, right? And it's for you. Let them hear your life. Do not tell them what it is you're dealing with. Sure. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm not quite so convinced that it's, it's that free of a recitative. I would, I would make sure you sing it. Loin de nous, noir présage. Loin de nous, noir présage. Les plus sages sont les faux. Ah, 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 ah. Break, break, break. Do not carry over. Oh, va, disciple. The cadenza has a reason, and it's not to show your voice, especially in this literature, and especially in Hamlet. This cadenza is this need that Hamlet has to find reality again. It's reorienting himself to what he hopes is the external world. Right? Loin de nous, sing it. Loin de nous, noir présage. Loin de nous, noir présage. Les plus sages sont les faux. Le vin. Okay, but now you see. But now you you you'll work this out in another time. Go make that cadenza all about Hamlet. Sure. And you are. Oh, and legatissimo. Oh, disciple. Oh, disciple. Ah, triste. That's, we hear that every day. That's not special. You have special inside of you. One more time, the cadenza. Loin de nous. Loin de nous. Noir présage. Loin de nous, noir présage. Les plus sages sont les faux. Oh, Good, good, good. 
good, good. Great. Does this feel easier? Yeah. A Isn't lot that a lot easier, yeah. in fact? You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> but go back and study really in, in French music, especially French opera music, is, is very subtle in its detail. And they are not extravagant, and they're also rather, um, what's the word, they're stingy with their ink. And so they're not always telling you it's mezzo piano and forte and piano. But in fact, the expression of it, the, where it is in your voice, what, what you're trying to say has a, has a very subtle but important difference, whether it's forte or mezzo piano or mezzo piano growing to a forte, whether it's an outburst or whether it's an extension of some condition, right? Mm -hmm. You need to believe that more in French in, in this piece. There's more to this than meets the eye. And you have more to offer than just going out and banging it out like every other 20-something baritone because it's a big party piece. It isn't a big party piece. It's a difficult aria, mm -hmm. you know? Trust yourself in that. Absolutely. Two things I want you to think about. Mm -hmm. Don't project your voice. All right. All right? And stay anchored in your feet, in your waist, and keep your body elastic. Keep the inhaling feeling while you're singing. So we don't have this and this and this and this, right? Mm -hmm. Good, thank All you. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs>